How to complete your mid-year check-in. You can follow along with the mid-year check-in PDF how-to guide. Please note that there may be slight differences in the wording of your mid-year check-in and the mid-year check-in we are about to complete. To log in, click the Talent on Demand link from Corridors. Use your network ID as your username. Your initial password is password1 with a capital P. If you have any trouble logging in, contact the IT Service Center. On the home screen, select Complete Mid-Year Check-In under the Your Tasks tab. Let's review how to navigate the overview section of the Mid-Year Check-In. On the left, you will see the outline of the three sections involved in the mid-year check-in. The first, performance goals, the what. The second, performance competencies, the how. And the third, development questions. Next to the section, a red light indicates a section has not yet been started. A yellow light indicates a section in progress. And a green light indicates a section is complete. In the center of your screen, you will see the instructions for the mid-year check-in. The Review Steps box outlines the overall steps of this review. For the mid-year check-in, there are two steps. One, the employee self-review. Two, the manager review. Notice the box highlighted in blue indicates the step you are completing and its due date. The Actions box allows you to print a PDF of your performance review. To begin completing your mid-year check-in, click Continue. This section displays your performance goals. The top of the screen displays the instructions. Under the Details box, you will be asked to answer, I am aware of my FY13 performance goals. You can scroll down to view your goals prior to answering the question. The goal section is view only, meaning you are not able to assign a rating to each goal. However, you are able to leave comments about your goal progress. After you have viewed your performance goals and or commented on progress, click Save and Continue to move to the next section. This section displays your performance competencies. Notice the tab sections on the left have changed, indicating that the first section is complete. In the center, you will see the instructions. If you click on Ratings, you can read the five-part rating scale and the descriptions of each rating. Below, you will see the competencies. Read the statement and bullets under each competency. Select a rating from the drop-down scale that best describes your current performance. If you assign yourself a rating of a 4, exceeds expectations, or a 5, far exceeds expectations, slash role model, you should defend your rating by providing comments and examples in the comments box. At any point, you can click Save and Exit to exit this screen. To continue in this part of the process, click Save and Continue. The last section of the mid-year check-in is titled Development Questions. Please use the comment box under each question to capture your responses. You will not be allowed to move forward unless you provide a response to each question. Click Save and Continue to move you to the summary screen, or click Submit to finish the mid-year check-in. The summary screen provides an overview of the mid-year check-in. It will show a score only for the performance competency section since this is the only section you assigned a rating to. The performance goal section and the development questions will show NA because you are not asked to rate anything on these sections. The manager review is blank because the appraisals have not yet been received. Once you have a green light next to each section, you can click Submit and the mid-year check-in will go to your manager for review. To access your completed review and view any comments left by your manager, go to the Performance tab and the Performance Reviews section on the main screen. 
In the center of the screen, select the My Personal Reviews tab. From here, you can get a PDF of your completed review.